good morning. It is 3.33 in the morning. I am about to go run. I usually get up in the morning and do my run and go lift uh, before school. So we're gonna get this day started. I just got home from the gym and I just wanna show you what I get to come home to. <gasps> Hello. So happy to see me, right? So we're gonna get ready, we're gonna go to school, we're gonna have a great day today because it's Tuesday, we get to see kids today, and I am pumped. I just came in my bedroom and there's a child in my bed. He's mine, but get done with my shower, and now I got two boys in my bed and a puppy. It is 6.43, now we're, we've showered, we've gotten ready. Um, we've got two little boys awake. Uh, Maverick put his clothes on and put his socks on. <sighs> That's a big, I still have my laundry here, ignore that. Ah! And then Dash still in his pajamas. We're gonna get ourselves some breakfast and make some coffee because I'm not a savage. Forgot my mask. It is 7.14, we are leaving the house. Where are we going? To Miss Debbie's. We're going to Miss Debbie's. What's today? Donut day. Today is donut day. Dash, are you excited? No! get to go back home because I forgot Dash's shoes. So we're gonna run back home. Let's try this again. Now we're going to school. Okay, so usually when I get to school, I will turn my computer on. I have a stack of papers over here that I need to grade. Um, I did not do much yesterday because I had the vaccine and I didn't feel well. Um, so I checked my email periodically to see if I had anything pressing. There wasn't really anything pressing, but um, I said yesterday that future me would be upset if I didn't grade some work and I really didn't grade anything yesterday. And now I have 67 emails of uh, things that students have turned in um, that I am gonna try to get through before uh, second period. So since my planning is first period, but I have to get my stuff posted for my students that are virtual today. Um, and um, I keep myself together with these little post-it notes. I assemble post-it notes on my desk. Now we go outside and we greet the students, but I have two that sit with me first period on my planning. Hello. Hello. And usually I have a hallway huddle, but as you can see, there's just me right now. Jalen. Hi. Second hallway huddle. Wah, wah, wah. Good Ladies morning. Gentlemen, Ethan Morris. Welcome to school. Say hello. So when we don't have students in the hallway, we tend to solve life's problems or we dance. Be pretty overwhelming to think about having to clean all of these desks between the class periods especially since now we're going to have more students in the seats and now we've got more spaces to clean up um, but at the end of the day uh, you just have to adjust your mindset to think i'm doing this to protect myself my family and my students that come in my room and i've got to make sure that i provide a safe learning environment and a safe physical environment so that they don't have to think about whether or not they're going to get sick in our building and go to the bathroom. So it is the end of the day. All of my students have left. I've cleaned the desks and I have a nice little mask um, marker there. Um, so to end my day, I have decreased my posting notes from seven to three. Um, and one of them is a recurring posting note that stays around. Um, but I have two things that I need to get accomplished before I leave today. I have a meeting tomorrow during one of my classes. So I'm going to record a video explaining what the assignment is. My pencil just fell and scared me. We are going to quickly film this video, but make sure we do a good job explaining what we're doing, so. Best part of my day right here. And there goes Maverick on his bike. What do we watch before bed every night? Mickey Mouse cartoons. Mickey Mouse cartoons. <laughs> and there's Henry. We slept in today. It is only 419. Fix and go for a walk slash run. And then we go to Planet Fitness and then we get our day started. So I can see this beautiful face every morning. Get home from Planet Fitness and my husband leaves to go do his workout. He has made breakfast for the kids. So we um, that's how we work together is whenever I'm gone, he makes the breakfast. And then when I get home, I just pack everything up and load it up. Maverick is awake. He is going upstairs and he is putting his clothes on. I'm going to get ready and get ready to go to school. Two big decisions today. What mask am I going to wear? What headband am I going to pick? We're going with the gray UK. 
One of the really fun things that happens when we're virtually teaching is when something goes wrong. So I'm not sure what button I hit. It could not have been a button that I hit, but it stopped recording and I'm not sure where it stopped recording. So instead of me watching the two minute video, I just decided to go ahead and re-record it. Um, it will eventually save me less, uh, less of a headache. So we are gonna try this again. Um, so yeah, uh, some of the other challenges that have been that have been brought up in virtual teaching is when um, I will post an assignment for my A day students, and then when I go to post the same assignment for my B day students, or vice versa, um, I uh, will forget to attach the um, the assignment. And typically, it's not until I have gone home and I don't have my computer with me and students will email me and say there's no assignment attached to it. I have a really great anatomy student that is on me. As soon as I post the assignment, she will email me and say, hey, there's nothing attached to it. She is on top of it. I, I have one example of a student who um, says he just doesn't have great internet at home. Um, the first couple of weeks, I didn't, you know, I was teaching virtually. I didn't know who he was. Um, he wasn't turning anything in and I, I, I tried to reach out and I didn't really get anything back. He came to school and he has done everything I asked him to do at school. He has caught himself up on his work. The kids need to be in the building. I mean, they need to be here. They, um, they work better here. I'll admit I work better here. Um, so yeah, I, I'm excited about coming back. Um, I feel more productive. I feel more purposeful here at school and with people in the building. Um, I, um, I, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I think the, I think the excitement, uh, leading up to it is going to outweigh the, uh, the nervousness. Now I did, I do have a surprise, uh, for March 22nd. So, um, I, uh, I, I'm known for my inflatable costumes and I may or may not have ordered a brand new one just for March 22nd and I am super pumped about it. So stay tuned, coming to a Facebook and Twitter feed near you. Happy anatomy class, wah wah wah, Kendra, Damian, hello. We're all six-ish feet apart. We came outside for a mask break. There's Miss Sirtius and there's her class. And there's my class, they're all outside. We are doing some independent work right now. Hey, hi everybody. Hi. So this is only, this is about half of them. Here in about two weeks, we'll have most of these chairs filled um, minus a table. So, um, which is good because all of my supplies kind of just chill on that table. But anyway, this is exciting. One of my kids from last year looks like they're having a bad day, so I wrote them a note and I drew a rat. So remember all that laundry I had sitting on my couch on Tuesday? It's Saturday and I'm just now putting it away. And the only reason I'm putting it away is because I need the baskets to do more laundry. Happy Saturday. It's one o'clock and I'm starving. A rabbit just ran across my yard and it kind of scared me, but I, I go bother other people who move about the school. Um, I really need to do something with this hair today. Hi. Hi. We're, no, we're, we're video, we're vlogging. Uh, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Soprano. Good vibes all day long, baby, let's go. <laughs> It's a day in the life of me. 